What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be reviewing a brand new yo-yo I just got in the mail, the Yunami Code. Yunami Code? I don't know if anybody really knows how to pronounce this thing, or maybe it's just me. Stay tuned for more. Alrighty, so when you get a Yonami code in the mail, this is the box that's going to come in. It's got a really neat design on the box. Uh, it's got like the um, GameCube things that there. I think that may even be SNES. I don't, I don't really know. But uh, it's got the little slide thing there. It's just got some video game stuff all over, which is kind of neat. It's got some cheat codes. Of course, this is called the Yonami code. Also, I think it's also called the cheat code. I think you can call it both, but I'm not sure. Um, it's got a bunch, but under here it's got a bunch of cheat codes. I ordered the Sonic the Hedgehog colorway. Um, I thought that one looked neat, and I also like Sonic. So the Yonami code right there, and then it's got the names of I don't know if you can see it, but it's got some names written on the yo yo. I think these are the people who helped design it. Um, so yeah, the box. Looking at it right now, it looks awesome. I cannot wait to try this out. This colorway is going to look so neat once you um, you know start spinning it and stuff. Okay, so let's open this up. And, oh boy, this is beautiful. Yeah, I'm really glad I ordered the Sonic colorway. They had a whole bunch of them all in stock on um, raincityskills.com. So, like, if you go to Yo-Yo Expert or whatever, I don't think they had, they didn't, they didn't have very many. Uh, YoYoTricks.com was all sold out, unfortunately. But, um, so I just ordered from directly from Rain City Skills. And they had, like, almost all the colorways in stock. I think maybe they had all of them. Uh, I'm not sure, but... So anyway, I got the Sonic one. This one looks really neat. Um, it's got the, you know, signature blue. It looks a little bit purple up against the red, but it actually is blue. So it looks a little bit purple on the camera that I'm looking at, but it's more blue than what it looks like. So anyway, that's the yo-yo. It feels really lightweight. That's what the description said. Apparently the guy um, needed a light yo-yo for his shoulder or something like that, and so that's why it's kind of lighter weight. Okay, let's see here. Inside this little goodie little goodie box. Got some strings. Let's see what else it came with. Let's see, yep. So we got the strings. We got an extra bolt. Uh, a rubber band. And then here's the bearing it said it would come with. This you can make it um, responsive if you want to. But of course I'm not going to do that. But if you're a beginner you can do that. So you can do responsive. And that's all that's in the box. When I did open up the package, I did get two maple candies. And so, um, unfortunately, I lost them. And that, that's the truth. I didn't even get to eat them. I actually don't know where they're at. I'll probably, they'll turn up at some point. But I really wish I could have shown them on camera. So I'm sorry about that. Anyways, so, um, yeah, let's see how this thing plays. Oh, also, um, this thing is supposed to be Lego hub compatible. So if you got a little circle Lego, you can stick it there. And, um, fortunately, I, um... I actually have some Sonic Legos right here, so we can take this piece right here. See this is like little this round piece right there. Let's see. I'm taking it to two pieces. You can stick one piece right there, and then you can stick one piece just like that. And then they stay on pretty tight, looks like. Oh, huh, that's neat. It also adds extra weight, so if you don't like how lightweight it is, you can add these on here and it plays. So we're actually, I'm actually going to review it with the Lego on and with the Lego off, and we'll just kind of compare. So anyway, let's see how it plays. All right, so I strapped a string on it. Uh, I'll take off the Lego pieces here. We'll do the first without the Legos, and, and then we'll review it with the Legos on. Okay, so um, anyway, it feels pretty lightweight in hand. Very smooth. It's playing pretty smooth. It doesn't really feel like a super. I feel like it's going to spin for a long time. It's not very, very catchy. It does kind of catch on it, but new response pads kind of do that stuff. They kind of catch in the middle of the combo sometimes. Yeah, it feels pretty good, honestly. I know. I don't know. I kind of like it, honestly. The lightweight. Honestly, I, I like heavier yo-yos most, most of the time, but not like bricks. I like just kind of heavier ones, but this one, this one actually feels pretty nice. 
kind of understand what they were going at when they made this one too, you know, kind of wider, a little lighter weight, but it also, some, how, somehow it still spins. It seems like it's spinning for a pretty long time. Not really losing spin. The binds are snappy. The response must be great. Let's see how it finger spins. Oh, that's so weird. So, okay, I didn't make that bind, but so it looks like what it's doing is it is catching my catching my fingernail. I don't know if you can see, but right on that that circle hub right there where the Lego sticks on, it's catching my fingernail right there, and it's just spinning on that nail, and so it's soup. It feels really good. Really, really good for finger spins. Oh, that's so neat. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, well, so far it's been pretty great. I'm going to put the Legos on and see if that really makes much of a difference. Yeah, it makes a weight difference. I don't know how many grams, but it does feel a little bit heavier. Honestly, I may like playing it with the Lego. You can't really do a finger spin if you've got the Lego on it, though. That's the issue. Um... Yeah. I feel like it does pretty good. Now, um, I think maybe some of you are thinking, like, you know, how wide is this yo yo? I forgot to talk about that when I was sitting down over there. But um, here, I'll, yeah, I got a cannon right here. We can kind of compare. So it is a little bit wider. I don't know if you can see up on my. Okay, it's even right there. It's a little bit wider than the cannon. See? So it ain't. It's not the widest yo yo like the widest, but here's the Atlas right here. I'll compare it with the Atlas. And see the Atlas is still wider than it, but it's not by much. It's a pretty wide yo-yo. I probably would say it's about maybe the same as like the Summer Solstice, if you've got that one. Yeah, it's about exactly the same width as the Summer Solstice. Uh, but it's got more of, a, it's got a different design than the, it's got, a, I forget what this one's called. It's got like the O right there. Maybe that's what it's called, it's an O design, I don't know. But it just goes like that where it's not much of a, a V, you know, which I don't mind that. Kind of nice. You want to do like your hand grinds. It's pretty nice. Yeah, well, so far I'm really, really enjoying this yo-yo. I can't wait to play with it some more. Uh, but I would say it plays exceptional for being so lightweight. I mean, it really isn't actually, it doesn't feel as lightweight as maybe the numbers say, but I don't know. I think it plays just as good, if not better, than most most of my yo-yos so far I feel this way because I get a lot of yo-yos and like sometimes I get yo-yos and I think no I'm not going to like this this one I know I'm going to like this one I'm really really happy with I think it it feels like especially with the Legos on it definitely feels like a normal sized yo-yo you don't even know the Lego pieces are on there because it doesn't really even touch your fingers when you throw it seems like maybe your thumb a little bit um, but anyway I'm really pleased with this design so um, thank you, Yo-Yo, Rain City Skills. I couldn't remember your company's name for a second. Rain City Skills, thank you so much for making this wonderful Yo-Yo. Um, and then also I would like to thank uh, Waylon. Waylon, I don't really know how to pronounce that, but um, I'm not going to exactly say what you did on camera, but I'll just if you're watching this, thank you so much for sending me that wood. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you so much, Waylon. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching, and that is the review on Rain City Skills Yonami Code.